Hey guys, Suk Sidhu here, founder of OFB, and today um, I'm joined by Mike, who I've worked with as a private client. Mike is the founder and owner of One Gym. One Gym. We've just actually gym. signed for a new one, but uh, one gym at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So a gym called Steel Habitat, um, really successful gym, really great gym, and also a company called Gym Owner that helps gym owners, funnily enough. Um, with their business. And I'll let Mike give a bit more insight into the or in, origins of Gym Owner and exactly you know, who it helps and what it does. Mike, if you want to share that. Yeah, so um, pretty much a, a couple of years ago, we started up doing um, some in-person workshops. Um, I've done, always spoken with gym owners over the years, just you know, like people do, kind of ask for help if they see that we're doing certain things well. And kind of had the idea just to do like a workshop and run through essentially just walk through a whole day of like what we do at steel habitat so not too preachy or anything it was just like this is how we do things we did a couple of those and then off the back of that there was like a bit of um interest in people getting some more help from me around their business and i've always felt a little bit icky around it i don't want to be classed in like guru business mentor kind of thing so i was just like wasn't too sure how to go about that and had loads of different ideas about like membership sites and you know courses and call you know private calls and mentoring and that kind of thing i just wasn't really sure where to go with that but i know that we're really good at systems we're really good at processes and like putting things into an organized way of running your business um, but the thing that i couldn't figure out for us was how we would present that in a way that was going to be effective for gym owners to be able to learn and implement what we could teach them. And it also not be a complete nightmare in terms of a business for myself to run. So I got started with that, just doing private calls and then quickly got to a point where I was like, I can't really do any more phone calls every week. And I also felt like I was just repeating myself over and over again with the same kind of things. Sure. Um, and I also had like a different, like, product that was a whole system that we build for gym owners like an automated system for essentially how their business runs everything from um you know somebody opting in for a lead magnet to them being nurtured through a member sequence and all the payments integrated and number tracking and everything that you'd need to run your gym we built it for my gym first i kind of had those things separately and that was when i came to you so to i was like i need somebody who's kind of done something similar to what i'm looking to do and can kind of point me in the right direction. So um, it was that point, like the start of last year, uh, like February, 2020, I think we first kind of spoke about it and just wanted some guidance on getting things together. And over that period of time, we kind of built it into a program that includes the software, that includes the um, elements of like mentoring and includes like a course element. And we have like a product now that, works exceptionally well to help gym owners just essentially simplify their business and be able to generate more revenue with a little bit less effort and stress than perhaps we were doing before and um you know just a more enjoyable business essentially um so it's been super helpful for us just getting that narrowed down into a system that we could actually deliver to other gyms so Cool. So, so when we first started to get us, the issue was obviously the product, like what actually is it and making sure we can package it. And like you said, into one simple thing um, and making sure, you know, we could scale from them because there was clearly a, an opportunity and a and demand for the product. So how, could you just explain how gym owner works and, and what it looks like today from a delivery point yep. of view? So we've basically broken it down into three main things. We have the system that we build in uh, software for the gym owners. We install that for the gym and teach them how to use it so they can operate all of the the kind of like manual things that perhaps have kind of glued together with Zapier and ClickFunnels and lead pages and all these different things. We have one system that we install into their business and teach them how to use that and they run their whole like business through that system. Then we have a course side of it, which is a member, essentially a members area with different trainings through what we call the six pillars of gym business success. That's how we kind of package it up, where it's just essentially going through organization, attraction, which is obviously marketing, conversion, 
uh, delivery, retention and profit. So we've broken that down into different modules of training and, um, you know, coursework to go through to kind of implement everything that we talk about. And then we have an accountability side to it where all the gym owners have a check-in with one of their coaches every week just to keep them on track and make sure they're actually doing the work. Because one of the things that I found personally when we did, I've done similar programs myself was, um, you know, a lot of times just like, here's the content and there's no real like follow up with it. And when we were speaking to other gym owners, they were finding the same and they just wanted a little bit more like checking in, keeping you on track and making sure you're doing it. Cause it's so easy to get lost in like the day to day of running the gym, especially if it's just yourself and maybe one other team member just putting out fires and stuff like that. So yeah, we wanted to make sure that we were keeping people on track. So they're the three parts of the system essentially the resources and modules and the support and accountability. And we package that together in a way that is quite straightforward for us to live to deliver and quite uh, easy for us to scale. So we currently work with about 120 gym owners um, wow. and we have uh, just three team members. So there's myself and two other people and we, we manage that between us really well because we're kind of, we're good at systems anyway but we managed to, with your guidance, I kind of got, uh, set everything up. So it was in a valuable service that was easy to deliver at scale as well. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask about the team. So obviously when we first started, it was just you, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then do you want to just talk about who you brought on and, and what they were kind of tasked to do and, and why they were the hires that yep. well, we or you decided to make? Yeah, so started it, obviously, it was just me. I'd done the workshops myself, the live, like, in-person workshops. Um, I started off doing, doing the calls and all that kind of stuff. And just kind of, like we said, figured out, like, what it should be. Um, and then I partnered with uh, Callum, who is the general manager of Steel Habitat. He runs uh, the gym. And he's also really, really good at sales. Like, that's one of his major strengths. So we like partnered up on this and he come in to take on like the sales side of things and also a portion of the delivery as well, because he obviously understands how uh, Jim should be run. He understands the system that we were delivering and it was really easy for him to plug in to be able to guide gym owners through that as well. So that was a really simple, obvious one. Um, and Cal's like a massive part of the, the company now. And then we hired um, an operations person i don't know you could say manager necessarily because there's no one else on the team but someone who deals with operations so uh, it's actually a previous client from our gym jess and she come in she takes care of like the system setup and making sure clients are onboarded properly and you know failed payments are dealt with and all of those kind of things that are a little more um day to day with like the software that we use and all that stuff so that was a really big um important hire for us because that was a lot of the stuff that I was still taking care of that was time consuming for me but was also definitely something that could have been um, like taken off my plate so I could focus on you know more of the marketing side of things or improving the product and stuff like that which is more where my strengths lie kind of thing so that was like a really important one for us for sure. Yeah I think that operations role is something that most business owners small business owners don't even think about yeah. you get caught in the weeds often but it's it's liberating right when somebody yeah. comes on and they're, they're organized they pick up the day-to-day tasks that you kind of get bogged down with it's just uh, an amazing hire to make yeah definitely um, like um jess for us come on and there was a lot of the, like she's great at everything that she does she surprises us every week with how much better she is at doing all the things <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that i was doing before so um it's not only just been I, I imagine other people will find this as well it's not only just like are there those things that i was finding like a stress or difficult or a lot to do every week on top of everything else but she's come in like added value on top of that and i think if you get someone who's really operations orientated and like you said organized and good at that side of things then they add a lot of value like just as a lot of our or all of our social media posting and videos and graphics and everything she's great at they're good as well those, yeah. those videos are cool yeah really good yeah so it's like just been a great addition and if you can find someone who can take off your plate like those kind of operational things and then also add value on top of that it's definitely definitely a big uh, value add to the business for sure cool so 
gym owner is uh, 120 gym owners, right? That you're working with. Um, so you want to just talk about you know where those clients have come from and uh, yeah, and, and the kind of acquisition model or channels that you've used. So, yeah, so our initial like batch of people were previous contacts essentially. So people I'd spoken with over the years, um, people who kind of reached out through programs like Lift the Bar, you know, in the same kind of Facebook groups and stuff like that. So they were the first batch of people that came to a workshop and then we converted them, you know, into the initial version of the program. And then there's some referrals from those guys uh, automatically uh, or organically, I should say. And then when we started working together, we went ahead with um, running some live workshops and I pretty much followed your lead at the start of lockdown in the sense that we were both doing live workshops like every Sunday for, however many weeks in a row there it was and we just marked him for you know using facebook ads to get registrations for the workshop running through that um you know delivering a ton of value on their short pitch at the end email kind of follow-up and getting calls booked out the back of that and then we were doing you know sales calls to get people signed up to the program and because we'd added uh callum into the business and his strength really is sales um you know we had massive success with that because in terms of lead generation and getting calls booked and um, making sales, it was a really, uh, it was a quick process for a good period of time through last summer. And then um, that allowed, that really allowed us to really kickstart things and grow really quickly, probably from uh, maybe April, May last year, right through to uh, September, October. It was like a really intense period of like growth for us, for sure. Yeah. So you want to uh, share what that growth was like, if you can kind of share what numbers or revenue or anything was like prior to that period monthly or how long was Jim owner around before we started working together? I know it was like mentoring calls or whatever. Yeah. Like maybe two months, something like that. Okay. So we, I, I don't what I tend to always do with business stuff is just like start off with like 10 different ideas and just like do a load of them and then kind of see yeah. what is going all right. And then, I didn't really know where to go with it. And that's when I spoke with you, but um, we were probably at like maybe four or five grand a month. At that point, we, we had a member site that we were charging like 39 or 49 quid a month for, which was just access yeah. to some videos. Um, and then we were doing some, you know, private, like one-on-one calls uh, with other clients. And I mean, we grew massively quickly through that to the point where we had one month where we actually with new actual charged revenue that we collected that month and then new contracted revenue from people on installment plans. We did a hundred K in one month with those two combined, which was ridiculous. Yeah. Ridiculous. And obviously like that's not all cash in the bank. There's money that we collected over time, but we kind of consistently went from, you know, four or five grand a month in January, February, so by the time we got to, you know, September-ish time, we were doing 50 grand a month just onboarding new clients and keeping the clients that we have. And we've kind of maintained that um, and pushed on since then. So, I mean, financially, it's been, uh, it's been great on that side of things because it's a very low-cost business. Um, we've grown really quickly. So our biggest cost is like obviously staff and just um, investment in ads, really. It's been a big thing yeah. for us. Uh, but I mean, obviously we, we sell a very high priced program as well. So that's high priced, you know, in comparison to, to some of the similar things, um, but the value kind of matches up with that. So yeah, that high price obviously just enables, it powers that growth, right? Yeah. The amazing margins you guys have, uh, the ability to scale investing systems team if you need to, but at the minute, you know, we've got a three person team, hundred grand month. Like it's just a, a nice ratio. <laughs> um, yeah our accountants actually um when we did the accounts for last year he sent me an email and just said um can you come in to meet about the most fantastic year one accounts i think i've ever seen <laughs> <laughs> i love that i'm gonna put that like, on my site <laughs> but it, i mean it, there was a few obviously a few things kind of played into that massive part of it was like coming to you i mean we we kind of knew each other a little bit before and i was like i feel like you, you've done what I'm trying to do in a, you know, parallel kind of market. So you'd be able to help me do that. And then that combined with the fact that the gyms were closed meant that I just had a ton of time to focus on 
doing this as well. So I was just, you know, in lockdown, just glued to my computer folks on this and just like doing everything that we, we talked about so that those two things combined really made like a massive difference just getting off the ground because we uh we toyed with different ideas for ages and played around with it and then they were just like fuel to the fire really once we got started so yeah i think like what you just mentioned as well is key like i last year i think i did like i can't remember 20 30 live workshops in a row <laughs> yeah. you did the same like we grafted um and took advantage of the opportunity that was there while it was there. Um, what do you think were the kind of key things or key factors that led to last year's success while we were working together? Uh, I think, to be honest, it was mainly having somebody there with the experience of like building an online business that serviced other business owners. So that's something I'd never been, ventured into before, really. Um, so it was having that and having you as a, a clear kind of soundboard because as you know, I have like a million different thoughts about different things. And yeah. what I need a lot of the time is someone to just kind of keep me on one track. Because yeah. there's lots of, and I would talk about this with our clients, and like there's lots of things that you, you could do, but it's just figuring out and whittling it down to like what you should actually do. And often what you should actually do is, you know, the thing you've already got some traction with and just kind of keep focusing on that. So getting the the direction off you in the beginning to help us decide like what this should look like. I remember us doing like a long Zoom call about that because I was like, we've got all these different moving parts. And I don't know what it, what it should be, like how we should package it up and stuff. And we really simplified that. And then moving forward, just giving me clear direction of like, yeah, let's just do these workshops every week. This is, you know, help with the... Um, guidance on the ads and all that kind of stuff just making sure i was getting everything pointing in the right direction um and just staying focused on that was like a huge huge thing for me um you know i've told you before i massively appreciate that because um that's definitely what kind of helped us fuel things moving forward because otherwise it would probably still been flipping and flopping between different models and you know all that kind of stuff so yeah Cool. That's amazing. And what, what are the plans before we end for gym owner in the next 12 months? Have you got any ideas? And in fact, before I go into that, um, just to make a point and kind of dial down what Mike just said about tuning in on one thing, that's a, an issue with so many people, especially when they come to me and like, I want one-to-one -one mentoring. I want to do this, 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 and this. My idea often is to almost on the sly, not talk about any of it and yeah. kind of like, this we've got this one amazing thing do it more do it more do it more do it more dial in on this one thing because you've had one product right for a year that's it we haven't sold anything else yeah, that's um it. which is amazing and you know acquisition channels we weren't all over the place it was you know this one thing's working do it more do it more do it more do that's it better it. um it's amazing so before we finish mike this has been amazing but what are the plans for gym owner uh if you know gym owners want to come and find you what what, sh what should they do where should they go yeah, so, I mean, our goal at the minute is just to continue growing incrementally. Like, we're in a good spot. Our program is the best version that it could possibly be, I think, at this point. So we're really happy with that. We just want to keep pushing forward because we know we can add a lot of value to gym owners. Like, we see this with the feedback that we constantly get. Like, people who engage in the program implement everything that we uh, kind of teach and the systems that we deliver. Like, they, I'm supremely confident that people get epic results with that i have no you know no questions around that at all so for us it's just getting more gym owners in front of us so we can teach them that and get them to do it so um easiest way to see what we do is just go to gymowner.com and that's gym owner without the e so it's just nr.com and you can go from there amazing mike thanks very much for your time mate appreciate it no worries